So, are you looking for some professional cinematic LUTs for Adobe Premiere Pro? If so, stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editors Keys, and we've got some exciting news today. We have just launched our second LUT pack, the Cine M Pro LUT pack for Adobe Premiere Pro. And I know so many of you have enjoyed our Essentials LUT pack and you've been asking us for more and more LUTs. So we've done it. And in this video, I'm gonna guide you through how you can install them on your footage. So we've got five new LUTs in this LUT pack, and the first one is called Arctic Glow. And this is gonna give your footage some real nice wintry looks, perfect for those kind of winter shots or snow scenes. Next up is the Nostalgia LUT, and this is gonna do exactly what it sounds like. It's gonna make your footage look much more nostalgic, give you that vintage look, and you know what, this is perfect for when you go out shooting in golden hour. Next up is the Teal and Orange 2 LUT. Now we know many of you really, really love the first edition of this LUT because we see it in videos everywhere. So the second one, we've really spiced up the recipe and we've improved the contrast, the saturation and the vibrancy to really give your footage some really nice, bright, punchy looks without overdoing it. So you're gonna love that one. Next up is the Cine Green LUT, and this is gonna give your footage a real cinematic look to it. If you've watched any documentaries on Netflix or any films recently, you may have seen this kind of look on a lot of these documentaries and films. So if you wanna take your footage from being quite bland and boring to very cinematic, this is the LUT to check out. And then finally, we have the Cine Magenta look. And I think you're really gonna love this one because this plays with your shadows and highlights and gives your footage a kind of warm yet moody look to it. It plays with the magenta within your footage. So I think you're really gonna love this. So next, I'm gonna show you how you can install the LUTs into your program and what you can do to your footage before you apply them to get the best looks. So let's jump into it. So we'll start on the Nostalgia LUT. This LUT, in my opinion, works really well for sunset, golden hour shots, to create that nostalgia mood and atmosphere. So here are two shots we have, a shot of a cityscape sunset that I downloaded from Artgrid, and we also have a shot that we took ourselves of this side mirror on a car during sunset. So to apply the LUT, please don't put the LUT straight on and think it's just gonna look absolutely perfect, you know, the first time. Before you apply it, do a basic color correction and white balance to get a perfect base and then apply the LUT. So we're gonna do a quick basic color grade of the mirror shot. So first check the white balance and to get the white balance correct, you can use this tool here. Place it over something white in the shot and then click it and then it should correct it for you. However, as you can see in this case, there isn't really anything perfectly white in the shot. So instead, look over at your Lumetri scopes here and then to correct the white balance, these three colors need to be about the same level. If they are, then your white balance is usually going to be as correct as it can be. So as you can see with this one, the blue could definitely use a little bit of lifting. So go over to your basic correction and play around with the temperature to fix this. And then there you go. Now, begin with a basic correction. Keep your exposure and highlights under this 100 mark here on your waveform, and then keep the black and shadows just above zero. So let's begin, fix up your basic and play around with the curves. Okay, so now that's done, we can apply the LUT. And you can do this by going to the creative section here. Click the drop down box and then click browse. Then look for the LUT you want to use. And in this case, I'm gonna of course use the editor's keys nostalgia LUT. Now, when the LUT is applied, you'll see it's really a bit too strong. So what you wanna do is just drag down the intensity until you find the right spot for your footage. I think just about here looks great. Doesn't it just give you that nostalgic feel already? And here's the same LUT applied on the other shot. The next example we'll show you is the Arctic Glow LUT. So this LUT is best suited for snow or winter shots as it will really enhance the blues and the shadows, creating a really nice look to it. You can still apply this to, of course, any other shot to give it the same effect. So here's a shot we have, for example, and you wanna just redo the steps that we did earlier and then apply the LUT and then there you go. Here's what the LUT looks like on another example. 
I think that this looks really good. It isn't too obvious, but you still get the blue tint and the cold Arctic feel to it. The next example is for the Cine Magenta Lut. It's really great for when you want to get those moody tones. So again, repeat the same steps. And there you go. You'll have some incredible footage just like this. And I think this looks absolutely great. So there you go, how good do those LUTs look? Now, if you've got any questions about the LUTs or if you've got any questions about how you would install them if you're a bit lost, uh, leave us a comment below because I promise we do get back to every single question asked. And if you've already downloaded the LUTs or the other pack and you've got links to your footage, uh, give us a, a tweet or a mention on Instagram and we'll try and share your footage as well because we'd love to see what you're doing with the LUTs and how creative you're getting. Now, if you want to learn more about your program, we've got a ton of other tutorials on the channel to give you color grading tips or editing tips. So make sure you check those out and I'll see you in the next video.